Hello everyone, it's Hoppy. Like many others, recently I've been hyperfixating on My Singing Monsters. If you don't know what My Singing Monsters is, is, well... There, that's it. That's My Singing Monsters. That's it. It's a game about musical monsters. Anyway, in-game, there are islands, and those islands represent songs. And they are good! But I think all My Singing Monsters fans can agree on one thing. The best island slash song. Wobblin Island. I wanted to create a contribution to my favorite My Singing Monsters island, so I decided to make a video be drawing them. I know how creative. I promise this video is interesting. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I originally wanted to explain about Wobblin Island and the Wobblins, but when I was about to start the rough sketch, I realized how time-consuming and difficult it would be to draw the island, uh, let alone a stylized version that I would be happy with. So instead, you're going to watch half of the footage of me drawing the thumbnail. Hope you don't mind. I don't have much to say about the island itself, except that it's really good. So here's the description. Welcome to Wobblin Island! This realm is unlike any before it, and likely any to follow. Once breeding is complete, you can choose to zap a monster egg into a Wobblin statue to give it the spark of life and wake it up. Check a Wobblin's inventory to see which eggs it needs. But act fast, unless all the necessary eggs are collected and zapped within the time allotted, the eggs will go bad and you'll need to start the process again. Good luck, and have fun waking up the Wobblins! The Wobblins themselves, on the other hand, I'm going to explain why I like them so much. First off, the amount of vibrant color and unique designs of each Wobblin. It's pure eye candy just looking at them. Then the song. Oh my goodness, it's perfect! It's my favorite song at the moment. Even if you're not a fan of my singing monsters, I suggest you listen to it. The island song just has the right amount of chaotic energy to not feel too cluttered and still sound jazzy. Even the monsters on their own still sound perfect. The Wobblin Mascot, Brump. His description reads, Ew, almost unique among Wobblins. This monster's appearance definitely brings to mind eggs it's used to wake it up. And also, Alex, Alex, Elix, Elix gag reflex, that. The, the Brump uses its fur like headstock and, and foggy feet to forage for food. It's pretty nasty, but presumably like you just can't seem to look away. One thing that stands out to me in Brum's description is that it says to forge for food. Does Rum hunt for other monsters? For those who don't know, in-game, you usually feed monsters by giving them treats. The game is like 4+, plus, so it makes sense. But you can't feed Wobblins like that. So that leaves the question, does Brump hunt for other monsters? Can other monsters hunt each other and just choose not to for some reason? And Wobblins are on a separate island. Do they just hunt for smaller critters there? The drawing itself, it was really hard. I usually draw cartoony creatures with human-like anatomy, as you can see on screen, so drawing kind of weird and ugly, and not a bad ugly, just ugly, <laughs> creatures in that style is really out of my comfort zone. But after a second attempt, and a bit of persistence, I started to be pleased where things were going. That, that sounded too generic, I hated that. There are many times where I needed to trust the process, but that's one of the things about art. I wouldn't be as skilled as I was now if I didn't go out of my comfort zone every now and then.
with that, we are done. The Zinth thrives on natural electricity emitted by Woblin Island. This monster stores excess energy to power its glowing abdomen and produce a wonderful harmonic buzzing sound. A word of caution, don't stand too close to these zinc, unless you want a reek of orange fizz and ozo smell that accompanies it wherever it goes. The zinc is most commonly known for its font ring ability. By that I mean people buy and wake up a ton of them and the bada bing bada boom get a crab ton of resources. It takes up little amount of space and it's the second easiest Wublin to wake up. You can get a lot of them fast. I don't really care for farms because I don't think people are using the island for what it's intended for, but I don't know. Do what you want. In the rough sketch, while I was drawing him, his eyes, I unintentionally made them look angry. I don't know what I did to make him look like that, but to counter that, I tried to make him have large puppy eyes. He's just staring at you. I think I pulled that off. But the hardest part out of all the drawing was drawing his wings. In game, the wings had a subtle vein design in them. Like, you know, fly wings have that. And it was hard for me to make them look right. I'd never drew fly wings before, so I guess that shows. Otherwise, I think the drawing came out all right. All sources I use for information on the monsters will be in the description. I really enjoyed this and I hope to do more stuff like this. With that, have a good day. Bye bye!